Okay, today we're going to change brake fluid in a 2009 ZX6. Uh, good brake fluid? Bad brake fluid. Pretty dirty. It's uh, two years old. It's time to get out of there. Uh, items we need are on the ground. A number four metric Allen, which should be in your toolkit, but I've got a socket, so we'll use that. 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, I'm going to use a Mighty Vac hand pump, some DOT4 fluid. Uh, and some shop towels, and one Phillips screwdriver. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Phillips screwdriver, and we're going to take the bracket that locks the cap, and take that off. Put it in our pocket so we don't lose it. And we're going to take the cap off, counterclockwise twist. Lay a towel down so we don't get any drips on somebody's bike. This is non-corrosive, won't hurt your paint or anything, but still, uh, we don't want to make a mess. And put the cap in the seal somewhere where you won't step on it. Okay, we're going to take the Mighty Vac, and I've got a small reservoir uh, so we can suck the fluid out. Hook that up. And if it'll stay all together. And we're going to give her a couple pumps, and it should suck the fluid out uh, fairly quickly. And this just gets the reservoir itself, so we don't have to bleed all the nasty fluid down through the bottom. Okay, then we're going to take a clean shop rag, wipe the reservoir out, try not to leave any lint. Okay, now we're ready to add a little dot for fluid to the reservoir. That's some nasty stuff there, isn't it? Looks like beer. Then we're going to top that off. Do not use dot five fluid or dot three, or you're going to have problems. They are not compatible. And uh, on this bike, it's got dual calipers. We're going to go to the right side first, take the cap off the bleeder, put our 10 millimeter wrench on top of the bleeder, put our hose over the bleeder. I've got thread tape on the threads of the bleeders already so it doesn't pull air through the threads. And we're going to give a little uh, vacuum to the top of the bleeder, pull all the air out and then we're going to crack it open and I'm going to pull pretty much the whole reservoir worth of brake fluid through there because you've got a little bit in the caliper and some in the hose I'm going to stop that off and top the reservoir back off. You don't want to get it too low or it'll suck air back down through the bottom and then you'll have to bleed all the air back out. So have either a helper or keep an eye on the reservoir. Okay, we're bleeding just a little bit more uh, fluid out and of course my hose comes loose. cap that off and then we're going to do the left front caliper same thing we've got the reservoir full uncap it put your 10 millimeter wrench on and your hose
open up and bleed the fluid out until you get a little bit of clean fluid coming, which the caliper doesn't really hold that much fluid. Okay, you're now done with the left front caliper. And yes, we've got a little bit of beer in there. We're going to refill our front reservoir and then we'll be done with the front half. Don't fill it all the way up to the top or when you put your seal and your cap on, it will leak fluid all over you. Down there snug wipe it off and then put your bracket and your small screw in. Do not over tighten your screw or you break your reservoir. Set the cover down out of the way so you don't step on it and you can see how dirty the fluid is in the back. So we're going to take the cap off, put a rag underneath it so we don't drip anything on the bike. And we're going to tip it down, get all the fluid in the corner, and there isn't much in there, but we'll suck it all out with our Mighty Vec. And then we're going to wipe out the reservoir with our shop towel again. I don't recommend using any chlorinated cleaners or anything to clean the reservoirs out. All that will do is contaminate it. We're going to fill a little fluid in the reservoir. You can fill it as close to the top as you like. Just don't spill it. Leave it uncapped and then we're going to go back to the rear caliper and we're going to bleed that just like we did on the front. your tent on there, uh, your hose, have your helper hold on to the reservoir because it takes kind of two and a half hands to do it, and pump it up and bleed one cylinder, one reservoir's worth of fluid through there. And you can see how dirty the fluid is coming through the hose. Okay, we're going to put some more fluid in it. And we're going to bleed just a little bit more through till we get a little bit of clean fluid coming out of the hose. Looking much better. Close your bleeder off. Make sure you put your cap back on it. and then we're going to top our reservoir back off. Again, make sure you don't overfill it. Uh, up to the threads is all you need to do. Screw your cap back on. Make sure it's snug. Wipe it off.
and it's a little tricky getting it back on there if you can't see the back prong. Tuck it back in. We'll put our screw back in the cover. Wipe everything off, all your handprints. You've now got a rear and a front reservoir that have clean fluid all the way flushed through. And that is how it's done. This is ZX Cowie. Thanks for watching.